So we'll talk about coding in this video, right? So the first thing you need to know uh, before diving into programming is um, how the computer understands files, okay? So say we had... Um, so files in computers, at the end of every file in a computer, there's what we call an extension that dot something at the end, like, an, like a music file, there's dot mp3, a pdf, there's dot pdf at the end. That dot that dot something at the end is called a file extension and the computer knows what type of file it is because of that same extension so for an example let's create several files in here uh, okay let me not go through that method let's let's open notepad notepad and uh, Yeah, so we we'll use notepad and write something and try to save it in different types of uh, files types, okay? So let's just write something, some dummy text in here. This is me trying. Great. So this file, let's go ahead and save as. I want to show you that it... Uh, actually behaves the way we are talking about it so save it in the folder outside there projects it's in projects actually it's just in desktop okay so this is where you whenever you are saving any file this is where you specify what type of the file it is you can give it any name say dummy okay a dummy file so uh, we'll go over this um, actually in other in other programs you have a in, in other softwares for editing files you have a lot of options here but uh, let's click all, fi all files so that we can specify our own extension here so suppose we write dot pdf of this guy let's save it see what happens okay so we have this file.pdf um, if we check here as you can see this file is now being regarded as a PDF okay it's a PDF because of its file extension we can again go to properties and check it out So just because we saved it under the file extension called .pdf and now the computer thinks it's a PDF. See? PDF right there. Uh, so the computer thinks it's a PDF. So suppose we saved it um, in another file extension. Let's try um, .mp3. Okay? Let's see how that goes. dot mp3 yeah let's check it out so we we're looking for dummy dot mp3 see right there it even shows a mp3 file dummy dot mp just because we saved this text file as dot mp3 now the computer thinks it's a song but really this is a text file there's just some text written in it as that this is me tried when you when you try to play it, there's there's no audio output that you're going to get from it it's just a a file so uh this is how it's through extensions that the computer understands what what file it is and that's how it knows which program to run it with so this um this uh, this this laptop of mine i said it that uh for PDF files, it will be opening with Chrome. That's why there's a Chrome icon there. So it thinks this text, this little file here, it thinks it's a PDF. So it will open it with Chrome. Then this little song here, it thinks it's a, it's a, it's a song, right? I mean, this little text, it thinks it's a song. So it will open it with uh, my music player right there. So that's how uh, a computer understands how to run a, a particular file. Yes so now what what i've demonstrated here is that 
anything that you can use to write a little text we can use that to save that text into any into anything you know like if you are writing a java program you definitely save this text file as dot java so that the computer knows that okay i have to interpret this thing in java if you're writing it, this program in html you have to save it with a dot html extension so that the computer knows that okay i'm writing this i mean i'm 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 going to interpret this uh, little file with html okay so that's how computer knows uh extension so uh you could really use any any text editor to write some html so let's write some html here like a uh, heading let's put h1 this is the heading the heading h1 then we add a little paragraph at down below there was a young fellow of Perth who was born on the day of his birth okay I'll just end there right so what you've seen this is some HTML code so let's save this file as uh, HTML and see what result we get so we'll keep the name dummy dummy dot html save and it is saved so and this is the dummy the, the html file let's run it loading 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 i hate it when it's loading that much yeah so we've written some html code in this text editor or a little text editor and uh just a heading and, and a little paragraph right there so running the code okay it's running now so this is the result we get this heading and the little paragraph right there so the the computer has interpreted that file as html so it has opened it in a browser all html files are browser based files so they open in any web browser it could be chrome edge or microsoft explorer or opera mini or whatever browser it is it can open the html files so that's it so now uh if you can write code in any text editor why do you need a, a special software that, that in which you write code in it why would you need a special software for writing code actually special softwares uh, actually we call them code editors this is just a text editor code editors they they have many benefits really um, one of them is they can show you that uh, you can easily some code ed editors will show you that you have made an error on this line some code editors will show you that uh, this code here is a heading this code here is what they even come with uh, inbuilt documentations it's, it's easy to program with a code editor than just a, a mere text editor that, that that's true so now let's demonstrate how a code editor would work in, in our scenario Mm, if you've installed um if you if you've installed code visual studio code this would be relatively easy as i will show you in a moment okay so I've created a little folder, empty folder right there named web development. Um, so I want to open actually let me not lose you there. All right, in, anyway, you've seen what I've done. Uh, just uh, enter the folder that you want to open with the code the code and then 
in here on the search bar here not search bar actually on the navigation bar here just click anywhere and uh, just click anywhere and do and type cmd and this command prompt to appear so here you just type code with a dot it means it will open the current folder in visual studio code that's what we want right right so we just have to wait for visual studio code to open now mm. it won't take much time just a little second more yeah so uh a recap any any text editor can write can 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 be used for programming you can use anything to program even microsoft word itself it edits text so you can use that for programming so you just write lines of code and then click on the button save as as long as you specify the file extension in which you want to save and the computer will know how to interpret that uh, that file of yours whether it's to run it in, in in c plus plus or in c make sure each uh programming language has a certain file extension which you need to follow for programs to understand it yeah this programming stuff is really straightforward and very fun when you become fond of it as I am fond of it okay so where was I my system is currently slow I've abused it I'm running a very heavy task here in the background extracting W3 schools uh, extracting W3 schools very large file probably 3 GB shouldn't have done that I missed the video it's kind of slowing us down in the end we we'll end up with a very large file for a video okay there we have it uh, getting started with visual studio code so what we just close this tab it's just an, a getting started tab we don't really need it what we really need is uh, to create our own file yeah yeah so now when you click on this little button here new file there are a lot of buttons this new folder I don't know what this one does refresh explorer collapse folders okay that's new whatever just click on this new file and then we are going to type it to name it index dot html we are writing an html file index dot html i want you to see the benefits of using a code editor to write code it's it's it, it makes everything very easy you know as you are typing the, the codes just come you know you don't you don't it helps you avoid mastering code you know you don't always have to use google to to check which code works or have to go to w3 schools to check which code works well so what i would do i would implement the same logic of a header and uh, a paragraph but i'll write some different content this time so in a header h1 we are going to write mm, greetings h1 so i'm sure you're noticing something different with what i'm writing it has different colors you see the text is white and these two things are in blue this is what we call syntax highlighting it's telling us that these are codes and then this is simply a text that these codes will render you know this is why a 
a, a code editor is better than a text editor. A text editor, everything will just appear white. But in a code editor, it will tell you that uh, this part is part of the codes and it won't appear in the output. But this part is simply text, so it's the one which is going to be rendered in the output. So put uh, a, a good morning text. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing fine. Right, you even you could even add the full stop there. So we are done with our paragraph. So this is code. It even has numbers on the lines, like line one, line two. So these are the two lines of code we've written in our HTML text file here. And we could save that file. I've, I've, I've uh, the shortcut for saving is Control S, Control S. Or alternatively, you could click here files and come and save. Since you've already given it a .html extension at the end, no need to save us. But if you want, you can also go here, save as. Save as. Actually, my uh, my code editor has a Django extension enabled. So I'm sure you're seeing a little DJ icon right there. It's confusing you. If I disable it, it will have an HTML icon there. And the icons might appear differently. But um, the icons, yeah, they can appear differently, but it doesn't really matter because I installed some special extensions that will make my code editor look fancy, you know, just fancying my code editor. Anyway, I won't change that, I'll just leave that. So, index.html should show like that there, and this is it. So, we can run, run our run a call so another thing you can go directly into your browser uh, there should be some part where you open a file okay in these new browsers it's uh, a complicated thing just go this is our index HTML file so if we double click on this it will open with a certain browser it doesn't matter whether it's Chrome or Peramini or what so as you can see we have it there greetings good morning everyone just like in our code right there so this is the good thing why i mean the good thing to use a code editor than any normal text editor like notepad you could use uh, visual studio code to write your code it makes everything very simple and smooth i'll show you uh, in the next few videos you you in the next few videos you begin to understand exactly how nice it is 